Hey guys, this is Nate at Stowe Training Systems here, along with Buddy, and today I thought I'd talk about uh, five tips to avoid weekend overeating. And full disclosure, I learned this from Dr. John Berardi, that dude's kind of a food ninja. So uh, good enough for John, good enough for us is how I feel about it. Um, so here we go, tip number one. We want to aim for good enough versus perfect. Whenever we, you know, they say perfect is the enemy of good. If we're trying to be perfect, as soon as like we have some croutons on the salad, or we have some chips at uh, Torch, at uh, you know Chewies, or we do anything like that, we're just like in effort mode, and now we're just going to go on a binge for the whole weekend because we're not perfect. We've ruined it, so why even bother? So, good enough versus perfect. Two, ignore food rules. Food rules tell you you can't eat this, or you can only eat during this time, or what have you. On the weekends, or even during the week, you know what? I eat when I'm hungry, and I stop when I'm full. So learning to be more in tune with our body when we're hungry, when we're full, versus having a rule. Um, so again, if you break that rule, you're gonna be like, F it, this is over. Might as well have everything and anything, because I've already ruined this whole day and weekend anyway. Three. Forget cheat days. Cheat days, again, are going to rely on that scarcity where, you know, I could only have cake on this one day or I can only have fries or pizza or whatever it might be. And then, again, you're going to go into, well, I'm just going to have a ton of food and you're going to way overcompensate for the rest of the week. So, I mean, really any day, uh, go, going back to uh, number one, is good enough versus perfect. We call it the 80-20 rule. I want 80% of the time I'm doing pretty well. Um, or even 80% of a meal, like, hey, almost everything here is fine, you know, I eat three chips, big deal. So forget about cheat days or cheat meals for that. Four, own your choices. Uh, food does not have a morality, it's not good, it's not bad, it's not evil, it's just calories. So uh, be an adult and if, you know, you decide that, hey, I'm going to eat all that pizza and I know it's not going to help me get closer to my goal, well, own it, be an adult and say, I'm simply choosing to not get closer to my goal right now. I'm not bad, the food's not bad, there's nothing about a morality here that matters. I have just chosen to eat something that's not going to help me look better in a swimsuit. It, that's the end of it and uh, you know I really own it and I live with it and I understand. Um, and the last one, stop rationalizing. Here folks will be like, it's, uh, you know, I'm too busy at work so I need to grab whatever, I don't have time or I'm not working, I have the day off, so I should eat it, whatever, you know, because I have the day off for, you know, it's just, it's one thing or the other, and these are just stories we're telling. Kind of back like to uh, number four is let, let's own our decision and let's decide what's really going on. Let's ask ourselves why, why, why? Is it that we're actually upset or are we happy? Like what's the reasoning behind us wanting to overeat um, and binge and grab food like that? Um, so really dig deep and understand your real reason versus always rationalizing and, and, and putting it on like external circumstances. So, Nate at Stowe Training Systems, the five tips for not overeating on the weekends is good enough versus perfect, ignore food rules, forget cheat days, own your decisions, and let's stop rationalizing. I'll be back soon for y'all. Have a great day.